Hello, Grimrock fans! And other people, if you accidentally stumbled here, you may enjoy this, so stick around! But back to the first group. Dungeons might be, you know, getting a bit stale. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. Well, have I got a deal for you and you and you and other guys, people. The characterizer. Special mod which I've just recently released. And what this does is it allows me to customize my party. So what I'm going to do is start making random party members. Let's make this guy a mage. Not just any mage. A mage knight. We'll call him Circumference. Because he's a well-rounded sort of guy. Excellent. Let's get the base and the uh, strong mind, because he is a mage. Yeah, it doesn't matter about what I actually put those in. Next guy. No, we need a scout. Someone who's sort of going to help everyone out. Sharp eyes. Make them a rogue. We shall call our scout. Who's also a knight. Surveillance. Maybe seeing a theme here. Lastly, we need a fighter. Fighter. Which also has an axe. Let's cram it all into strength. Also, whatever that is. An axe is. It's in the picture. What her name will be. Cirrhosis. Got a bit of a drinking problem. You know what I mean? Also. Steven. Steven's the guy who carries their stuff. That's his job. You can have this one. It totally looks like a Steven. Let's start. Yes. Now first off we load up and you go, oh what? I've only got circumference. As well rounded as he is, he just doesn't fill things out. Now, the entire purpose of this mod was, of course, to kick you off with only one character. So I can now play as a single mage. And if I save this, I could import it into another dungeon and I can play as circumference by himself. Now, first of all, I've got a button on the wall. You can press this button, and I just pressed it twice by accident. My mouse double clicks, it's just me. Eh. But pressing it once would have just spawned in one guy, Surveillance, and Cirrhosis from a second push. You can push as many times as I like, it will not spawn Steven. Because that would just be a normal party, and that's dumb. So in this way, I can use this mod. And I can generate a custom party. Meng. Like, just like that. With an unusual number of people in it. Alright, so what I'd do is I'd save that. And I'll save this as... And dum to dum And now if I go back to the main menu. Go to a custom dungeon. And we'll just land one at random. Which doesn't have an intro. Test dungeon, there we go. Great description there. Import. Dum -de -dum. And look at that. I've loaded into someone else's dungeon. Or rather, my dungeon where I test crap. With the same custom party. It's great. But that's not all the characterizer can do. Let's get a characterizer. Now, if you bother to read these instructions, you'll notice that I can spawn special characters. So, this is basically you take one of these names, and I am going to choose 
warrior. Warrior. No, I'm gonna choose Archmage M. Yeah, Archmage M. It's gonna be awesome. Archmage M. F. Okay, and so I don't even bother with the rest of this rubbish. And when I start, it spawned in as an entirely unique character. Yeah, and a star harp, a level 1 mage, with higher than normal starting skills. So you can choose one of those out of the list. And they have ridiculous starting skills. Or some of them do. Yeah! Fun times. You can click this and just add new prisoner because, you know, I didn't actually bother to create any of the other ones. But yeah, in addition to that, if we come down here, see all these levers, and each one of them actually has the characters from the code words their corresponding skills and blah 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 and when I pull one of these levers it adds that character to the party and that way if I wanted more than one of these custom characters I can add them and it's great you can see that in addition some of them have extra traits you notice that she has three instead of two can't remember who this one is it's the archer but that's pretty much the gist of it. I'll also maybe updating this and putting in extra special characters. So if you have a request, post it in the comments on the Steam page. Or on the Grimrock forums or on the Nexus page. And I'll probably look at those. Probably. The Grimrock page would be best. Grimrock.net Look for it. It'll be there under local fire stuff. Anyway, that's the characterizer. I hope you enjoy it, and hopefully it spices up your Grimrock experience. Have fun!